So the heli is on the scene. I've not heard it yet, but uh, I know it's here. The announcement actually hits a couple of minutes after it appears. So I've got AK, red dot sight, bolty with a four times, and a whole bunch of ammo and EpiPens, medical syringes. I've also got two meat, which I'm going to scoff those now. So we're not really very central here. We're right between the launch site uh, and the power, power plant. Um, over here we've got a couple of quarries. I don't think the heli actually visits those, but, uh, but they're over there. Um, the military tunnels is somewhere on the other side of that mountain, where the sun has risen from. louder, still can't see it. Might be behind these trees. So the idea here is that I'm standing on top of my base four times armed and the idea is you need to just tag it with usually just a single shot and the heli will come over to your position. Assuming I ever see it. Know where your exit is when you're on the roof. It's my tip of the day. So when you hear that noise, run to the other side of your base.
that sounded loud. damage. Losing a lot of uh, embrasures here. when the rockets come in, I've got to say. So really it's the whole side of my base that I can't use at the moment. goes. Making an absolute mess of some pristine grassland. So generally the, the base is um, pretty battered on this side. I lost three embrasures, it's not too bad. The rest of the the rest of the structure's still there. That's that'll all repair itself. That's the great thing about the new TC is uh, heady tower. You don't need to run around with the hammer afterwards. So I can already see one of the crates. animals. I'm on a PvE server so I don't need to worry about people. Um, if you're on a PvP server then you'll need to defend this area. I just need to keep an eye out for uh, bears and wolves. So there's another one of the chests, the crates. I can see three of them. Found them all. 
just got to wait for them to stop burning. Usually this takes about seven minutes, so uh, you've got plenty of time to check the area out. The only problem with that is obviously it gives people plenty of time to get into your position. Okay, that's one of the... So we've got some pistol emma. I'm just going to drag it across so you can get a better idea of what you get. M249. So these two crates are still burning. The last things to stop burning, obviously. Right. Got some mods. That's useful the first time it happens. Gets a bit boring quickly though. And ideally we'll have some C4 and rockets in this last one, but you know, in my luck it'll be a Thompson or a camera. So there you go, I told you that would get boring quickly. So we got M249, that's probably the best thing we got. A bunch of pistol ammo, 556, and two sets of mods, including um, red dot sights, that's fairly useful. How dull. Okay, so as you can see, when you mine the heli body, you get metal fragments, high quality metal, and charcoal. Doesn't take very long. There's a few bits though. Right, I'm sure I've missed some bits. I think there should be a door, or I've already done that. A door and this little thing. Oh, there's a door. Oh, it's not the one I thought it was. But I'll take it. And that's it. Pretty sure I've got all the pieces. So let's get back to the base. Hope I haven't lost anything downstairs. Um, One thing to note is that um, sometimes the damage from upstairs spills through down to the uh, bottom level. So as you can see, some of these things have got a little bit of uh, whoa, a little bit of damage to them. It's not too bad though. I can repair that later. Okay, so all in all we got ammo, M249, attachments, and then we also got these materials. And that's not a lot, but for the sake of a few minutes farming, it's worth picking up. Um, I would I would store this stuff. If you're on a PvP server, store your good stuff before you mine the body, because uh, it's not really worth waiting around and potentially losing your good stuff just to get this. So there you go. Um, as usual, if you enjoyed this, feel free to subscribe. Um, we've also got a Patreon and a Discord. So um, yeah, look us up on there. And I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye.